Continuing on from our first part of this series, we will now take a look at the biggest maps and video games from number 35 to number 16. Let's get started. Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, 27 square kilometers. Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 was a game that looked beautiful at times, but there was still a lot wrong with it, which was reflected in the amount of criticism that it received at launch. One area where it was impressive, at least statistically, was its open world, which spanned 27 square kilometers. Sadly, even that wasn't put to use very well, as the world often felt barren and lifeless. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, 33 square kilometers. As the big daddy of the open world genre, Grand Theft Auto games usually come with a certain set of expectations, and there is a huge segment of the series' fan base that no game has ever lived up to those expectations as well as San Andreas did. Of the many, many things people love about it is its world, which is not only an excellent sandbox to wreak havoc in, but is also startlingly large. At 33 square kilometers, San Andreas was, for its time, positively mammoth. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Of course, you really can't think of open worlds or huge maps in video games without thinking of Skyrim as well. The Elder Scrolls series has always had a penchant for delivering massive worlds to explore, and Skyrim, with its world of 37 square kilometers, certainly fits that bill. The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion 38.8 square kilometers the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion was a very impressive achievement when it first launched more than a decade ago, and among the things that impressed people the most was its huge and varied map. Approximately 38.8 square kilometers in size, it was positively huge, though it should be noted that the dungeons in the game were procedurally generated. Red Dead Redemption, 40 square kilometers. Rockstar have never needed to prove themselves to anyone as far as their chops as open-world developers are concerned, but with Red Dead Redemption's decidedly different setting and atmosphere, they required a very different kind of mentality when approaching size and world design, and it's fair to say that they knocked it out of the park. At 40 square kilometers, it is one of the biggest maps they've ever created. Fallout 76, 41 square kilometers. Fallout 76 is a game that is ridden with issues, but the one positive is the virtual world it puts its players in is absolutely huge at 41 square kilometers. It's too bad that there's not much to do in that world that can hold your attention for too long. Far Cry 3 and 4, 46 square kilometers. Unlike what we see from most Ubisoft franchises, Far Cry actually stayed at a steady level as far as the sizes of its maps are concerned. Far Cry 3, the game that revived the franchise, had a map size of 46 square kilometers, and Far Cry 4, which followed just two years later, was also roughly the same size. Far Cry 2, 49.2 square kilometers. Surprisingly enough, Far Cry 3 and 4 were both actually smaller than Far Cry 2, though not by too much. Set in the African jungles and going for a much different tone and style than its successors, Far Cry 2 is perhaps the game in the franchise that stands out the most. Until very recently, at 49.2 square kilometers, it was also the largest map in the series. Far Cry 5, 60 square kilometers. The biggest map we've ever seen in a Far Cry game. Far Cry 5's Hope County, Montana is very different from the places the series usually takes us to, being closer to civilization than it has ever been, and also dropping the highly structured approach the game settled into for some years, and Ubisoft did everything in their power to make it a memorable map. Its size of 60 square kilometers is a very impressive figure. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, Vikindi and Arangal, 64 square kilometers. Coming far, far ahead of the likes of Fortnite, at least in terms of size, are two maps from Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Arangal, the original map that the game launched with, and the recently launched snow map Vikindi are both quite large at 64 square kilometers. Assassin's Creed Rogue, 70.4 square kilometers. Serving as the final hurrah for Assassin's Creed on 7th generation consoles, Assassin's Creed Rogue is also the largest map in the series on those platforms with a map that was 70.4 square kilometers in size, which makes sense given its focus on naval traversal and exploration. Forza Horizon 4, 71 square kilometers. Having an open world map and a racer that is large might not be that big of a deal, given how quickly you can cover ground in such games. But having a map that is both large and full of interesting things to do is extremely hard. Thankfully, Forza Horizon 4 does both, providing opportunities to do something incredible literally around every corner, while at 71 square kilometers, it is also very big. 
The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, 72 square kilometers. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was the first proper open world title Nintendo has ever made, but you wouldn't know that by looking at how incredible and accomplished it is in everything that it does. Very few games present a sense of scale purely in terms of their world and world design as well as Breath of the Wild does. And it's not just an illusion either, because at 72 square kilometers, Hyrule is absolutely massive. Red Dead Redemption 2, 75 square kilometers. There's a lot to be said about Red Dead Redemption 2 and its open world, and honestly, here at Gaming Bolt, we've certainly taken every opportunity to say all of that and then some. But the vastness of its maps is perhaps one of the biggest accomplishments, which is buoyed by the amounts of variety that it exhibits. Red Dead Redemption 2 is almost twice as big as its predecessor at 75 square kilometers. Xenoblade Chronicles, 80 square kilometers. The very point of Xenoblade Chronicles, both the game and the franchise, is scale and scope. It's supposed to be huge, almost intimidatingly so, by its very nature. The Wii title, which was later ported to the 3DS, was certainly massive, with a map that totaled 80 square kilometers in size. Assassin's Creed Origins, 80 square kilometers. Assassin's Creed Origins was the most ambitious game in the series until quite recently, where previous games in the series usually focused on a single city or a collection of cities, with the exception of Black Flag and Rogue, of course, Origins just went ahead and said, here's all of ancient Egypt, painstakingly and beautifully recreated. Now, go nuts! At a little more than 80 square kilometers, it was massive, and breathtakingly so. Dragon Age Inquisition, 117 square kilometers. Before the launch of Inquisition, Bioware made it clear that they were taking Dragon Age into the open world territory to not only follow in the footsteps of the hugely successful Skyrim, but also address the many criticisms that Dragon Age 2 received. And though it was more a collection of multiple big maps rather than a single seamless open world environment, in total Inquisition's map of 117 square kilometers was, to say the least, quite impressive. Grand Theft Auto V, 130 square kilometers. This is the biggest game Rockstar has ever made. Rockstar, the pioneers of the open world genre. That should tell you something about how big GTA V is. In total, counting the map and the large seas that populate it, GTA V's map size is 130 square kilometers. If we only count the land mass in the game, that number gets knocked down to 70 square kilometers, which would put it behind Red Dead Redemption 2 and at number 25 in this particular list. The Witcher 3, including expansions. 135 square kilometers. Like Dragon Age Inquisition, The Witcher 3's map isn't one single seamless world, but rather multiple large maps that you can hop back and forth between. The largest of these maps are absolutely massive, while even the smallest are large enough that you can lose yourself in them for hours. Counting the base game and the expansions, The Witcher 3's map size is 135 square kilometers. Day Z, 225 square kilometers. Though it only just exited early access, DayZ has been a thing for more than five years by now, and in that time, it's grown considerably. The open world zombie survival title provides a huge map for players to test their skills in, at 225 square kilometers. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.